This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I remove Geometry HD from a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about how to remove Geometry HD after you have it activated inside of ZBrush. So as an example of this, I'm just going to show how to apply Geometry HD to your mesh. So first I'm going to go to the tool palette over here and I'm going to go to Earthquake's subtools and I'm just going to hide everything but his body. So I'm just going to click this eyeball icon here. And now I should only have Earthquake's body subtool visible. And now I'm just going to scroll down here and open up the Geometry tab. And you'll notice that Earthquake here has six subdivisions, so I can scroll through these. Now in addition to just these normal subdivisions you can apply to your mesh, you can also apply Geometry HD subdivisions. To do this, you need to be in your highest subdivision level. So Earthquake here has six subdivisions, so just make sure you're on the highest. And then come down here and open up this Geometry HD tab. Now in here, you have a Divide HD button. And this is going to allow you to divide your model with HD subdivision levels, allowing you to even reach greater detail levels inside of ZBrush. So I'm just going to come over here and click this. And as you click this, you're going to notice that it's going to divide the model up. And it's going to give you these Sculpt HD subdivision levels. Now every time you click this, you're going to notice that this bar up here is going to tell you how many polygons your entire model consists of now. So now I have 78 million polygons on this model. And you can just keep doing this until you get the resolution you want. Now after you have this divided up, you're not going to notice much of a change inside of ZBrush. So if I come through and just start sculpting with the standard brush here, it's just going to behave like it would normally at my 1.2 million polygon version of Earthquake. So to activate Geometry HD, you have to hit the A button or come over here and click the Sculpt HD option. So now if I hover over a part of my model and click A, ZBrush is now going to take a section of Earthquake and divide it up to that geometry count. Now you'll notice that when this happens, you're going to get this circle that's going to appear. And anything inside of this circle is now in Geometry HD mode. So if I come through and say, make a really small standard brush here, and now draw on Earthquake's stomach, I'm going to be able to get greater detail on the mesh. So you can see as I come in here and even start sculpting smaller and maybe increase my intensity, you can see that that stroke is still readable on Earthquake's stomach there. So this will allow you to sculpt in HD on the section in your model. Now, after you're done with the sculpting here, you just need to get out of Sculpt HD mode by pressing A again or clicking this button. And this is going to return you back to your normal subdivision version of Earthquake. And you'll notice when it returns back, you can see that that HD sculpting has now reverted to that lower resolution, but it is still there. So if you hover over the model and press A again, you're now going to get that HD version of the mesh. And you'll see that all these lines are going to crisp up and look how they were a second ago. So the question is asking after you've been using HD, or maybe you came over here and accidentally divided a model up into HD, and you now want to remove this HD sculpting, and just get back to the normal version of your mesh. So the version of your mesh before you apply any of these HD subdivisions. So I can hit A to get out of HD mode. Just go back to the normal version of the model. And now we're here, and let's say I want to just use these normal subdivisions and no longer use these Geometry HDs. So to delete the Geometry HD subdivisions, all you have to do is just duplicate your tool. So if I come over here to the Subtool Palette and now just click Duplicate, it's going to take that subtool and create a new version of it. And the new version it has created, if I scroll down here to that Geometry HD, you can see that there is no longer HD subdivision. So this is just now back to the normal version of Earthquake with its traditional subdivision levels and not any of the HD subdivision levels. So if I come over here and hit A again to try to activate that Geometry HD, you can see that it's no longer going to affect the model. So once again, that process to remove Geometry HD sculpting is just duplicate your model. So if I have this one selected here, you can see it has those subdivisions, but it also has the Geometry HD subdivisions. So if I don't want these Geometry HD subdivisions, I just come up to that subtool, click the Duplicate button here, and the new tool that is created will have those Geometry HD subdivisions removed. For further information on how to use Geometry HD, please check out some of our videos on Z Classroom. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.